Good morning, ma'am, and welcome to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us your wonderful testimony? Good morning, everyone. My name is Evidence. Uh, I'm here to testify. Uh, I was in church uh, three weeks back, and then I was sitting there by the pregnancy line, and then pastor allocated me, saying I've got problems, and, but I'll give birth very well. And then he said I should go to the prayer line the next Sunday. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to the prayer line the next Sunday because I was in hospital, Johannesburg Hospital. Ma'am, can you please tell us what was the problem that brought you here to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries? I had problem with high blood pressure and sometimes chest pains. Ma'am, you may continue with your testimony. Uh, so I went to clinic before hospital. When I went to clinic, they said my high blood pressure was very high and they couldn't do nothing. So they transferred me to Johannesburg Hospital. I went there and then I was admitted immediately. Uh, when I reached there, they said my high blood pressure was very high and I got lung problems. So I had to go to theater on that Sunday. So I went to theater and I had got also lung problems. They said I got fluids on my lungs. So that's the reason I went to theater. Ma'am, can you please tell us how did this problem affect you on a daily basis? It really affected me because sometimes I couldn't breathe normally. Uh, I could seek for air outside. I couldn't breathe properly in the house. So I could go out outside the house to seek for air. Even at night, I could open windows so that I could breathe normally. And ma'am, did this help you in any way? Me coming to church, it told me a lot because ever since I came to church and I, I prayed, and then the chest pains were gone. Even my aunt, Mama Shekine, gave me some anointing oil, and I used anointing oils and water. So it helped me a lot. So, ma'am, after using the anointed mediums, you felt the pain go away? Yes, I only used it not for so long, but then the chest pain started going away, and I could even breathe normally. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. Ma'am, can you please tell us, on the day that you came here to the church, can you please tell us what is it that you had felt from the moment that you had entered the ministry? I felt like I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, I felt warm in the church, and I, I don't know what to say anymore, but I felt something was happening. Ma'am, we would like to hear a word from the lady beside you. Good morning, ma'am, and welcome to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. Can you please introduce yourself and share with us this wonderful testimony? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. To those who are looking for babies. Emmanuel. Uh, my name is Mama Shekaina. This is my niece. She called me uh, at one last month saying that she's having problem breathing uh, she can't breathe so I went to fetch her where she stays and came with her to church prophet located her and prayed for her and then uh, two weeks back she wake up in the morning and called me and say she can't breathe so we went to hospital when we reached hospital they admitted her at the, that time they find out that besides high blood, she has a lung problem that just came up at that moment because they didn't see it all along. So they had to rush her to theater because her breathing was worse. She gave birth to the baby and then she was in high care for a week and a couple of days on oxygen she couldn't breathe on her own. And the doctors were just saying that we must pray because they don't know what's going on because all these problems, lung problems, high blood, everything was there. So we kept on praying and I went with my usual concussion, oil, water and salt, I mix it together, gave her to use it as oil in the hospital. She was released on the high care. 
to the normal ward, the doctors were like surprised because this thing just happened in a couple of days. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. And then in the normal ward, she only stayed two days there and then she was released home. Because uh, the baby, they already gave me the baby while the mother is in high care. They say I must take the baby because nobody's taking care of her. So the baby was home already. The mother is left in the hospital. Uh, but with the grace of God and the grace of this house and my faith, because I always tell them, if you don't have faith in me, I'm forcing my faith on you. So with my forceful faith on her, she was released in a couple of days. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. <clears throat> Ma'am, we would like to know, after you had used the mediums, can you please tell us what is it, the changes that you had seen? After I used, especially the, especially the anointing oil, because I used it when I finished bathing, I applied it on my body, and then I, even, I felt weak. But then after I used the anointing oil, I sometimes feel strong and I could walk from <clears throat> the bed and then walk and do the exercising in the hospital. And ma'am, can you please tell us about your lungs and your BP? What is, was it still the same? No, it was not the same anymore because my BP is with 200 over 75. So when I keep on using the anointing oil, it keep on going down going down 132 over 65 and that's the reason why I went out of the hospital because the doctor saw my people going down. Let us look to our screens to see our mother who was located by the man of God. What is happening to you? I went to a clinic on, on Tuesday and then they said what yeah. is that? And what did the doctor say to you? The doctor said that I have blood and I'm eight months now. They have, yes. Yeah, I, I haven't had high blood before, but now they gave me that. You are the one I'm talking about. So when I look at the other sister, the other sister was okay. But it's you I saw, you are pregnant, and now you are doubting whether you are going to give birth. That child in your womb is a very great child, and the enemy won't attack the child. They don't want the child to come out safely. But right now, you're going to take the anointing oil. You anoint your baby, always anoint your belly button. You don't have high blood. The enemy is putting their eyes on their child. This is what I see. The enemy put their eyes on your child and they want, even now, you, they, you want, to, they want to do Caesar. I saw the danger. I saw the baby in the womb. And you see, what this girl is going through is bad. It's bad. I don't just want to talk. Because she will cry and cry and cry until I don't know what will happen. Sister, don't worry. We are going to stand for you. Okay? We are going to stand for you. Your baby is going to be right. Okay? Yes. I see what the father is doing. I see even the man that pregnant you. I see what he has done. I see what is going on. Amen. But don't worry. You have a father. Amen. Okay? Amen. This baby will come out safely. The baby will be healthy. You are going to be healthy. And ma'am, can you please tell, tell us what is the name of your baby? It's uh, Rachel. Rachel is the name of my baby. The prophet named her Rachel. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. And ma'am, what can you please tell us, since you came here um, to the ministry, can you please tell us, what are you, has your faith been lifted up? Yes, it has been lifted up, because when, when, before my auntie faced me, I stay, I, not, I couldn't go to church, I, I go sometimes then, there, but ever since I came to this church, I believe God is there, and it lifted my faith a lot, because every Sunday I want to see myself in church. Yeah, it did a lot. Thank you very much. Oh, oh my, word of, my word of advice to them is to them believe in God, believe in their faith, and faith. Uh, do whatever that the prophet says you should do. Uh, also, by the anointing oils, they do help a lot <coughs> in the salt. 
and apply them very well and also have faith. That's what I can say. Ma'am, can you please also share with us your word of advice for you have been bringing so many mamas here with their new baby borns. Can you please share with us a word of advice? The seat you are sitting at, that's your seat. Stay there. Have faith. Amen. We thank you so much, Mama, for coming here to share your wonderful testimony. And we believe that we have all been blessed by this wonderful testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.